Good Sunday morning, all you beautiful people. It is the Sabbath. It is God's day. I hope you're making plans to get to church. Praise God. We're continuing. Actually, we're wrapping up our series today on altars. And today, and we're going to be talking about altars of decisions. And so important as well as we're going to have a wonderful time in our service with all of our children and middle schools, high schools, all of our students going back to school today, going to pray over them, going to have a wonderful anointed time just sending them off in the right way today under the power of God and the presence of the Lord. But I wanted to come to you our eighth day today of our 21 days of fasting and prayer, consecrate 21. And uh, <clears throat> I, I just thought about that altars of decision. Everything is decision. Prayer is a decision. You know, I learned a long time ago, there's, there's three aspects to any decision. There's, there's the desire. You desire to want to do something. You desire to want to have a stronger prayer life. You want to grow closer to the Lord. The desire's there. Maybe it's even a physical thing. I, I desire to lose weight or I desire to work out more. Or I desire to do this. But the desire is we, all of us have desires, you know, to, to do things like that. But they mean nothing unless you put a little bit of discipline to the desire. So the discipline has to, or the desire has to lead and in birth into a decision <clears throat> that we're going to discipline ourselves. We're going to put in the time. We're making a decision to get up earlier, to go to the gym, to open our Bibles, to pray, to love on somebody, to serve somebody else, to call that friend for lunch, whatever it may be. There, we're, we're doing, we're, we've got a desire. We know we should do it. Oh, that would be great if I did that. And then we move into the discipline. And then if you stick with the discipline long enough, I promise you this, it turns into delight. There's going to be a time in your prayer life where it kicks from, oh man, I know I should be doing this. Lord, I'm here. And you're, you're, you know, you're making a decision. That's so important. But that discipline that you add to it will turn into delight to where you can't wait to get to the presence of the Lord. You can't wait to get up in the morning and pray. You can't wait to spend time during your lunch break, to, you know, with, uh, looking at reading that devotional or, you know, praying or whatever it might be, or listening to that sermon or that podcast that just enriches your spirit and brings you closer to the Lord. The, des the desire matched with discipline turns into delight. And that's my prayer is that prayer is that prayer and worship becomes a delight to you. And the Lord becomes a delight to you. Huh? Amen. The joy of the Lord, the delight of the Lord is your strength. And so I want to encourage you today. We're going to worship here at the altar at 10 a.m. This place is going to be full. This place is going to be full most of all of the presence of God. The presence and the power of God. And so I love you guys. I can't wait to see you. If you can't be here, check us out online or get to your home church today. God bless you.